Hi guys, welcome to Filament PHP series and in this series we are going to learn step by step Filament PHP elements and at the end we are going to create the admin panel using it. So let's get started. In the first episode we are going to learn what is Filament PHP and how to install and set up it. So PHP Filament is an open source UI framework and you can create the faster admin panel using it. So you can see over here and filament PHP is built with Laravel, Livewire, AlpineJS and they are using for design is Tailwind CSS. So you can see that here is the official website of filament PHP, filamentphp.com. Okay and next let's get started how to install with documentation. So let me go here in the documentation and if I click on getting started. You can see that here is the official documentation of filament PHP and you can see that we are going to follow the version 4 and possibly they have also released the 1, 2, 3 version but we are going to uh, learn step by step version 4 and let me go to the installation and you can see that first of all they have explained the requirements of software for filament php and we need to like greater than php 8.2 version installed in your system then they have also write the requirement for version 4 is greater than laravel 11 and they are using the tilewind css greater than 4.0 so you can see that this is the basic requirement that should be installed in your system to work with filament php version 4 and now let me go here and they have given the two ways to install the filament php and panel builder and individual component so we are going to follow the panel builder okay so now let me go and first of all create the fresh laravel application and then we are going to install this filament php composer package and we will install the filaments in our laravel application so let me go to my terminal and here i'm going to create the first laravel application so i will just say laravel new and it is asking for the project name so i will just say filament app okay and just hit enter and it is asking for which starter kit you want to install i will say no i don't want to install anything and i will choose the best as a default testing framework and just wait a moment to install the uh, fresh laravel application it is asking for which database so i will choose for now sqlite later we change it okay so just now keep uh, my sqlite now it is asking for npm install i will say yes i want to install the npm and npm run build as well so just wait a moment you can see that our fresh laravel application is uh, uh, installed over here filament php and just let me clear this okay and you can see that here is our laravel application run let me open this project to vs code editor just code.o okay and you can see that there is a fresh laravel application is installed over here and just let me close this and move it back this and you can see let me go to the env first of all we are going to use the mysql database so i want to change it to mysql okay and let's create a new database in my system so let me go and just open table plus and let me connect my local database and here i'm going to create a new database so just i will call filament underscore app okay just copy that and just click on create okay and just open that database over here and now let me go back to the vs code mysql and host i will be keep this port will be keep this and database name what we have keep filament app and username is root and password for my local host there is nothing just save it okay and let me back to the terminal and let's run the migration php artisan migrate and you can see that migration is running successfully now let me clear this and let's go back to the filament documentation and here you can see that first command they have written for how to install the field filament in your laravel application just copy that and go here and just paste and hit enter and they are going to install version 4 for filament after install let me clear this and then let me go back to the documentation 
and here you can see that how to install the panel so just copy this command and just paste it filament colon install dash dash panel hit enter and it is asking like uh, what is the panel id we will keep admin you can add like manager or whatever but for for admin panel we are going to use the admin so just hit enter and they are asking for do you want a github repository do you want to review it i will say no and just hit enter and you can see that they have created over here lots of components js file and they have created uh, all the files related uh, like fonts and css over here okay and let me just clear this and now let me go back to the documentation and if we scroll down first of all we don't have any uh, like uh, admin user so we can create the admin user using mac colon filament dash user command so just copy that and just paste it and just hit enter and it is asking for username so i will just say admin user and hit enter and it is asking for email so i will just call admin at the rate gmail.com just hit enter asking for password i will set like one to six and then you can see that you have successfully created one user with admin at the gmail.com and now you can log in at localhost 8000 slash admin slash login so let's run this project so just i will use composer run dev okay and it is going to run the npm uh, uh, also uh, and localhost you can see that so just let me go to this url just click on it and you can see that here it is so here is the beautiful uh, login page of filament php and you can see that admin at the gmail.com and let's see the password i have uh, set up one to six and just click on sign in and here is you can see that first the simple and minimal dashboard of filament php and let me just move my face over here and then if i click over here you can see that here is the username that what we have created and let me go to the table plus and just hit refresh over here and you can see that users and if i go here you can see that there is an admin user created via command okay let me go back and here you can see that you can change the light theme to dark theme you can see over here so there is a very basic and minimal uh, installation they have provided for the starting so this was the first video for the uh, like installation and setup for filament php and in the next video we are going to learn each and every elements and at the end we are going to the create the admin panel so if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel see you in the next video guys